So how does it feel to run 100 miles? You really don't want to know. What are you talking about? I totally do. Oh, really? So you want to know about being up for 30 hours straight without a nap or sleeping at all? Or how about picking up, calling my parents at 5 a.m. to pick me up two hours away from home because I could barely walk? Or how about pooping in a cornfield in the middle of the night? Do you, do you want to know about that? Yeah, maybe let's not talk about it. Well, let's stick to real estate. Yeah, let's do that. Why don't you tell us what's, what's going on with rates? Yeah, as we're entering the second half of October, we are seeing interest rates over 7.5% or hovering a little over 7.5% these days. Oh, wow. Well, what even happened in September? Yeah, to be honest, September, we saw a little bit of a slowdown. When we look at both the average price, we look at the days on the market, even how many people went to see houses, all those metrics went down in September. Didn't you notice that was starting to happen in August? Yeah, exactly. We saw it start in August. We started seeing some indicators that things were going to slow down. September, things really showed us where we're at. If we look at average sale price, the average house in Page County sold for $13,000 less in September than we saw in August. And in Cook County, we saw the average sales price go down $26,000 from August to September. So sales prices definitely went down. And you know what else went down? We saw days on the market tend to go down slightly too as well. And we also noticed that the number of people out looking at houses went down in both counties too. If we look at showings per house on the market, back in August, we saw almost 13 people go out and look at a house. In September, there was only about nine, which honestly is still a lot. Um, just compared to August, it's, it's not as much. If we look at Cook County, we went from almost nine showings per house on the market to about seven. So we are seeing a decrease in activity in both counties over the last couple months. What was surprising though, is we saw the days in the market in Cook County stay exactly the same in August and September. So we saw no changes there, which was actually pretty surprising. DuPage County, it wasn't the same story. We saw the average home sit on the market for 11 days more. So almost two weeks we saw a house sit on the market in September compared to August. Oh wow, sounds like we're dipping a little bit. Isn't it normal for this time of the year anyway? I mean, we're, we're going into the winter. Yeah, totally. But the thing is, you're gonna hear on the news, you're gonna hear on social media, people are thinking the sky is falling with the market. This is totally normal this time of year. We're going to the winter season, Halloween's down the corner, we have the holidays coming up. Yes, this is totally normal and it's a good thing because if we saw a surge in the middle of winter when we normally don't see that here in the Chocoland area, then something might be off because now we have some relief to buyers. I'll be honest, being in the market, being there every day, there are still competitive offers. There are still multiple offers and bidding wars going on. Uh, just people aren't getting their foot off the gas. Just to know it's not as active as it was over the summer. Yes, it is still a seller's market. There's plenty of people looking. You're gonna have to bid most of the time. It's just not as competitive as it was over the summer. So if you're a buyer, keep that in mind. Still be decisive, still be strong. If you're a seller, please, please, please price your house properly. It's not just going to go for whatever you put on the sticker price. Have somebody who knows how to analyze the neighborhood, who knows this market and knows how to price your property so that you can get the best offer for it and it doesn't sit for months on end. So if you have any questions, if you want to keep in touch on what's going on right here in your backyard in the Chicagoland area, make sure to follow so you can stay in touch and see some of the indicators of what the future market is going to look like.